Hello, welcome back to my studio. I'm Trish and I thought today we'd do something with color. <laughs> so far we've been doing um, things like this that have just um, the brown wood stain but I thought that we would do something today with some some bright fun colors. I have some of these on my wall in my house. Um, they're my version of pop art flowers and it's all done with wood stain. I'm going to use a different kind of product today um, than I have been using but <clears throat> this is a good uh, project or art piece to use up that wood that has a lot of variation in it like this where there's a lot of dark spots. So I thought you know I have a couple of these um, actually you can see this one's pretty dark as well. So I thought, well, why don't we, why don't I show you how I made the art that's on my wall in my dining room? And I will pop a picture in right here so you can see what that looks like. And they were a lot of fun to make. They're fairly simple to make too. Um, and we get to use a great product called Unicorn Spit. <laughs> I really love this product. and. Um, it's it's fun to use when you want to add a pop of color to your uh, artwork. So let's get to it. So here's what you need. You're going to first squeeze the bottle of black unicorn spit onto your board and smooth it out with a paintbrush. This goes on very thin. It's not as thick as acrylic paint, but it is highly, highly pigmented. I'm choosing not to water it down today because I don't want that color of the wood to show through. Once it dries and we put the polyurethane on it, you will see the wood grain outline, but you will not see the color of the wood. It's perfect. It turns out beautiful. So you can see here I'm smoothing it across. This step is really not absolutely necessary because it does dry perfectly flat, as you can see here. Perfectly smooth, perfectly flat. And I'm going to take some polyurethane, a spray polyurethane, it needs to be oil-based, and coat this before doing the next step because this is a water-based product and if I put um, another coat on top, it will activate it so I need to seal it. You can see here I'm taking a piece of cardboard and just smoothing out the polyurethane, getting all the little nibs off. It's an easy little trick. You don't need sandpaper. You could just um, smooth it out so the next step when we put the flower on it will be smooth for us to work on. Now if I want my items, if I'm going to make multiple of the same piece and I want them to be all uniform then I will do a drawing, trace that on to each one with some tracing paper, and then get started with my unicorn spit. So here we go. The first few petals I'm going to do for you in real time and then I'll speed it up. But I want you to see how quick and easy this is. And you only need to use your finger. You don't need to have gloves on because this product washes off your hands. It's super easy. It's not like regular stain where your fingers are going to get completely colored. It'll just wash right off with a little bit of just soap and water. So you can see here I'm just putting the unicorn spit on, pulling it down towards that center. And I purposely put that circle in the center so that I know exactly how far to go. And after you're completely done, none of those lines are going to show. The unicorn spit will cover them completely, so I'm not worried about that. So this one I want it to overlap that first petal there or second petal there. So I pulled it across there to shape that petal and I'll just keep going around and doing the same thing. Voila, super simple. Now you can see that dried perfectly flat as well. There's no bumps. That's why I, I love this product. It is 
just kind of an amazing product. <laughs> so I just wanted to fill that center so it looked nice and smooth, perfectly circled. <clears throat> And that dried flat as well. You can see that the color is dulled a little bit with it drying. Once we finish it with the polyurethane, it's going to be just fine. You're going to see that color become really vibrant and just pop out. So this part takes a little bit of practice. I would encourage you when you get your fine tip applicator that you play with it a little bit before you try and do it on your pop art here because you need to have a loose hand. And what I mean by that is you don't want to trace these perfectly. We're doing pop art, not realism. So you want to be able to just, you know, let your hand move freely. Let go of the bottle once in a while. You can see I let go and there's um, spaces in between the lines. And here I got a little bit of a bubble, so I just took the tip and I smoothed that. This is pop art, so I wasn't too worried about having to wipe that off and start that line over. I just smoothed it out with the tip. And this I'm doing completely in real time, so you can see how quick and fast this is. And it's just a, a pop of gold. This is unicorn spit in the bottle, but I also added a little bit of glue and a little bit of water. I can't give you exact measurements because it really, you have to play with the consistency to get it right. Um, if you just put the unicorn spit in there, it's a little too fluid. You need a little bit of body to it. So that's why I add the glue in there. And here I'm just putting some pops of gold onto the petals. And now let's do the center. And you're going to hear me say this over and over in my videos. If you're doing dots and you want them random, do triangles. Do the three points of the triangle and do the triangles all different sizes. If you watch closely, you can see <laughs> that that's what I'm doing. And there it is. I'm going to let this dry, put some polyurethane on top. It will dry perfectly flat, just like the rest of the unicorn spit, even though it has the glue in it. And here are the beautiful flowers that are on my wall. I just love them so much. It adds some color to my dining room and uh, makes it not so boring. And just a quick little shout out to my son that's in the picture with me. His name's Isaac. He's 14. He has his own art channel. He teaches um, how art can help you with your sensory issues. It helped him with his, and he likes to share that with others. So I will put that in the, the link in the description if you want to check out his channel. I know, proud mom moment. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.